Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I do not intend to scare anyone or create any panic or any, of any kind. The, this is my assessment of what's going on in Kosovo. Okay, so uh, from outside the information that I get and uh, <clears throat> knowing a little bit of history and uh, some people, you can uh, have a picture as much as you can. And I don't know how other people can have a different kind of picture. Uh, aside from the one who really pulled the strings, they will have more information that we can. Otherwise, this is the information that we work with: mass media, connections, and uh, you know, intelligence and memory. Right? In this case, I think that uh, whatever is going to happen in Kosovo uh, will happen in 48 hours. It was just postponed. Remember last night? Uh, I made a video. You don't remember my video, but I remember what happened. The um, Serbs and the Albanians could not come to an understanding in Brussels when they were asked by the European uh, Borel, below 86 IQ guy. He's the foreign uh, chief of the European Union and he is uh, just a old fart, let's put it this way. I don't know. He's over there. I mean, just listen to the guy talk. Anyway. So they went over there, Vucic and uh, whatever his name is, Kurti, the Prime Minister of uh, Kosovo, met Borrell, nothing came out of it. Uh, in the meantime, the Albanians sent the police special troops services in uh, northern part where the Serbs are to keep order, peace and quiet, which obviously will uh, anger the, the Serbs and the Serbs probably are just cleaning their AK-47s and get ready for something. Uh, I, that's what I think, and uh, I think I'm not far from uh, uh, guessing the reality. Uh, what's going on next? N neither side bent. I said, no, you know what, this gonna see what's going to happen now. You send your guys here, our guys are uh, polishing and uh, greasing their uh, ammunition, uh, ammunition, the armament, and uh, getting ready. The I assume that the Serbs will bring something at the border with the Kosovo and that's because of some stupid license plate requirements that Pristina, the Albanians in Kosovo, said that they have to uh, implement because they decided to blah 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 blah. Now nothing happened with the European Union. Why? Because European Union is a, is a entity that has no teeth really, is a third tier power is just uh, you know the first one united states second one nobody and the third uh on that side of the aisle i would say so what happened united states so nothing happened in uh in uh brussels right the guys in um pristina said we're gonna implement that no matter what and the big boss called them and say hold up stop give them 48 hours what do you think is gonna happen in 48 hours Everybody is cleaning and putting their clips and getting ready for it. Or they try to behind the scenes to pressure, to discuss, to negotiate. Now what? Because Ser Serbs, the Serbs who are like this and had big balls, they will not bend over. They will bend the other ones over. You'll see. Now, uh, this article comes from Sputnik and it's from uh, today, the 22nd of November 2022. Kosovar leader postpones fines for Serbian license plates for another 48 hours at U.S. request. Why? Why do you postpone? It's like uh, you found, a, like, I'm just giving an analogy, a rapist and you postpone his arrest uh, 48 hours because why? The neighbor says, is he a rapist? You have the evidence? Yeah, let's go. So if you're on the right side of uh, whatever the, the issue, then why do you wait to act? Because you need to prepare. For what? What do you think? They're gonna swing together? Did it? Did it? Did it? I don't think so. They will swing with uh, something else. So, the EU previously mediated zero by, by, by benefiters negotiations between Serbia and Kosovo in Brussels, but to no avail. No, because it's not the European Union who are the boss. The United States is the boss. So without the United States, those guys can meet, fondle one another, you know what I mean? And nothing happens. Nothing happens. The same thing was with Ukraine. Remember, Ukraine signed those uh, Minsk agreements, protocols, Minsk, two of them, 2014, 2015. 
and the guarantors blah 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 of their implementation was France and Germany I think not even Great Britain and United States by far why do you think that happened because United States says yeah you can you know do your little uh, party over there and uh, when I say go you're gonna go when I say stop you're gonna stop and it's exactly what happened and the same here yeah European Union you know play your game show your importance and so on but nothing that would mean nothing as long as I say you know nothing will happen nothing happens and here it is postpone 48 hours now Kurti the guy uh, Albin Kurti should say why do I care about you fucking United States why would I care about it? I'm in independent countries <laughs> why don't they say that because they know the next day he's gonna be gone Kurti and if he's not gonna be gone by the United States uh, hand he's gonna be gone by the Serbs hand so uh, he, he's like in the middle of a, um, of a how do you call it, uh, uh, bridge. In front, he's got a tiger. Behind, has a tiger. What the fuck am I staying? Going forward, going backward, staying here and not doing anything. The same with this guy. But that's how you do. When you are, uh, you know, like Faust, you uh, sell your soul to the devil. Then you get the perks out of that, but then you get the other side too. So yeah, we got independence. Woo -hoo -hoo. Kosovo but you're gonna be a slave of those guys forever and ever and ever and ever 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 all right so Kosovar leader Kosovar Albanian what you're talking about uh, Kurti and why do I call him uh, um, Albanian because <laughs> if you live in one I don't even know how to explain it. It's, it's so dumb, the whole thing. They try to build l legitimacy. If they want to call themselves Kosovarians, I don't care. But there are, uh, are uh, Albanians living in Kosovo, as Serbs living in Kosovo. They're both Kosovarians, right? <laughs> if I go over there and uh, somehow I get a residence, I'll be a Kosovarian as well. <laughs> That's the way it goes, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, Mr. Kurti stated on Tuesday, he decided to postpone fines for car plates with a Serbian identifier for the disputed region at Washington's request. And I, um, <laughs> I'm quoting, listen to this uh, weasel here. And uh, it's a weasel. It's, it's at the orders of Washington. I thank U.S. Ambassador to Kosovo, Jeffrey Havener, for his commitment and engagement. I accept his request for a 48-hour postponement on impos imposition of fines for illegal KM and other car plates. He accepts the, his request. I don't think it was a request, Kurti. I think it was an order. Don't, don't try to fool us here, okay? We know who's who and what's what. And you are, okay, the bottom feeder right here. And is the, it's, it is the ambassador who talked to you. The ambassador. And you're the president? What are you? Leader. Anyway, it says here that um, I'm happy to work with the US and the EU to find a solution. Uh, during the next two days, Kurti tweeted. Well, why not you, don't, you, you try to find a solution with the Serbs? Because it's between the Albanians and the Serbs, after all. <laughs> because you... Uh, look through power you don't look through understanding and I'm not saying the Serbs are just a pinnacle of love and happiness I'm not saying that whatsoever but at least you know talk to one another just you you and the other guys well say well they tried in day 1999 and look what happened well I can go back there because if we go again and look at the uh, uh, timeline um, who did what just uh, the Serbs decided to go and slaughter the Albanians in Kosovo, right? Is that how the story goes? Yeah, I, I thought so. Is anything more to that story? No? Okay, well, I will be... Okay. I'm not saying it was justified to kill other people, but uh, you can start and see who started the uh, uh, separation, maybe? Well, anyway, tensions between Serbia and the self-proclaimed Kosovo flared up over the summer when the Kosovar authorities required the local Serbs re-register their li car's license plates. They demanded that the car plates feature the EU standard letter code RKS, Republic of Kosovo, instead of KM, the Serbian identifier for the disputed region of Kosovka Mitrovica, I'm, I'm assuming, which provoked a major crisis. The deadline for the re-registration was October 31st. Issuing fines for Serbian plates was supposed to start on November 
21st, then was postponed to the morning of November 22nd during negotiations in Brussels. And then uh, it was about 600 police officers, Serbian police officers, quit their jobs in northern Kosovo. And then the, the authorities, the Serbian authorities in Kosovo, they quit some uh, officials over there. So that's kind of like paralyzed. It's okay, the Kosovarians will appoint their little Kurti people over there and they will be, we're gonna rule over you, over you. How you like it? Let me show you how I like it. Uh, this is just um, the tippest of the tippest of the ice, iceberg. That's what it is. They say, oh, it's it just flared up. No, over there, everything is the same as they left it after 1999. The same anger, the same hatred is there. You don't believe me? Well, okay, speak with one another and speak with a Kosovarian, Albanian, and, uh, and, and tell that person that, hey, I think that the Serbs were right, and I think you're wrong. Make sure you're at, at a distance so he can't punch you, okay? The same thing do with the, uh, the Serbs. Say, hey, you know what? I think that you massacre those guys and those guys are right about uh, Again, stay further from this guy. And uh, then you're going to see how much they say, yeah, okay, yeah. Hey, what's over there, Emil? Uh, bang. You'll see it. I'm just making it uh, funny, but it's not funny. So the, everything is the same thing. It's the same uh, over there. This thing is just a, an, an example. They're waiting for the right time to settle scores and what will be the scores serbia wants that back to serbia the other ones want that to be certain that that they're <clears throat> they're recognized by united nations they're recognized in all the organizations in the world they're a country which right now they're not because serbia and other countries do not countries do not recognize it so that's what they want and they also will want and they will happen they will have more peacekeeping forces from NATO and European Union, they would make sure the Serbs will not try to get it back. But the Serbs are waiting for the right time, the same as the Albanians. So make no mistake, that will happen. Unless you just uh, somehow suck the brain out of the Serbs or the, the blood out of their hearts, and they will not feel that that territory is theirs. And then if you do that with time, then yeah, they will say, yeah, yeah, okay, that's good. I'm good, man. I'm good. What the hell? If you want my wife too? Here she is. My money, bank account, here it is. Yeah, all right. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.